Proxima b, being one of the planets in the system of the nearest neighboring star, Proxima Centauri, has been a subject of intense interest among astronomers and space enthusiasts alike. The recent discovery of the unusual signals emitted from Proxima b has only added to the excitement and fascination surrounding this planet. The signals have been labeled as artificial lights, which raises the possibility that they could be a sign of intelligent life in the universe. While it is important to approach such claims with caution and skepticism, the fact that these signals have been deciphered and identified as unusual is an intriguing development. Scientists and researchers are now exploring the possibility of investigating other planets near Centaurus to see if there is any evidence of civilization on those worlds. This would require advanced space exploration and detection techniques, but it could potentially lead to groundbreaking discoveries about the existence of life beyond our own planet. It is worth noting, however, that the signals could also be a result of natural phenomena or other non-sentient sources. Therefore, any investigation must be conducted with a careful and objective approach to rule out any false positives or misinterpretations. Nonetheless, the possibility of discovering intelligent life in the universe is an exciting prospect that drives the curiosity and imagination of many. As we continue to search for signs of extraterrestrial life, the possibility of detecting artificial lights becomes increasingly intriguing. With the potential launch of the LIVOI Observatory in 2035, scientists could have the tools necessary to identify cultural items left behind by a technologically advanced civilization. However, the question remains as to whether or not non-human civilizations would be able to view the lights on Proxima Centauri b. One potential avenue for detecting extraterrestrial life is by looking for spectral surveys of the cosmos. By analyzing the light emitted by planets and other celestial bodies, scientists can gain insights into their composition and the potential presence of life. In particular, the presence of certain chemical signatures, such as oxygen or methane, could indicate the presence of living organisms. Another possibility is the use of satellite constellations to detect the light emitted by distant planets. By carefully monitoring the flicker of light over time, Scientists could potentially identify patterns that are consistent with artificial illumination, rather than natural phenomena like volcanic activity or weather patterns. While the search for extraterrestrial life remains a fascinating and ongoing pursuit, it's important to approach the topic with scientific rigor and skepticism. Any potential signals or signs of life must be subjected to careful analysis and verification before any definitive conclusions can be drawn. Nonetheless, the continued exploration of our universe holds immense promise for expanding our understanding of the cosmos and our place within it. Regenerate response The uniqueness of light emitted from stars and other celestial objects has always fascinated astronomers and scientists. One of the interesting developments in recent years is the study of alien lights and signals from planets outside our solar system. Eliza Table and Avi Loeb's online test drive to search for alien lights is a great example of the ongoing research in this field. However, the results of this experiment were not particularly reliable due to technical difficulties with the virtual JWST. Meanwhile, scientists continue to explore the potential for identifying artificial lights on planets beyond our solar system. One such planet that has drawn a lot of attention is Proxima Centauri b, which is located in the habitable zone of the nearest star. Scientists believe that the presence of artificial lights on this planet could be detected using advanced technology, provided that they are strong enough. This is because the amount of illumination emitted from a planet is unique and can be measured in comparison to the amount of sunlight reflected from its surface. The study of artificial lights on planets can also shed light on the potential existence of advanced civilizations beyond our own. Scientists are exploring different ways to identify evidence of cultural items or technological signatures left behind on planets by extraterrestrial beings. The launch of the multi-wavelength space-based observatory LAVOIS in 2035 is one such initiative that can help in this regard. The observatory, 
has the potential to do spectral surveys of the cosmos and identify the presence or absence of technologically advanced civilizations on other planets. Overall, the study of light emitted from stars and planets holds immense potential for unraveling the mysteries of the universe and identifying the presence of life beyond our own planet. The ongoing research in this field is sure to yield more exciting findings in the coming years. The potential discovery of artificial lights on Proxima b could have significant implications for our understanding of the universe and the possibility of extraterrestrial life. The discovery of such lights would suggest the presence of a technologically advanced civilization capable of harnessing energy and developing advanced lighting technologies. This would have profound implications for our understanding of the universe and the potential for life beyond Earth. The discovery of artificial lights on Proxima b would also raise important questions about the nature of extraterrestrial life and the potential for communication with other intelligent beings. If there is indeed an advanced civilization on Proxima b, it is possible that they are actively trying to communicate with us. This could potentially open up new avenues for research and collaboration between our civilization and theirs. However, it is important to remember that the detection of artificial lights on Proxima b is still speculative at this point, and there could be other explanations for the signals that have been observed. It is also possible that the signals are simply the result of natural phenomena, such as atmospheric conditions or geological activity on the planet. Despite these uncertainties, the potential discovery of artificial lights on Proxima b highlights the importance of continued exploration and research in the field of astronomy and astrobiology. As our technology continues to advance, we may be able to answer some of the most fundamental questions about the universe and our place within it. Despite being only around 20 times as brilliant as the star Proxima Centauri, the amount of light emitted by our Sun is still significant. It would be challenging to detect the presence of an advanced civilization until its lights were at least 500 times brighter than ours. While it may seem unlikely, given Proxima b's close proximity to its host star, the planet may be tidally locked with one side always facing the star and the other side in constant darkness. This could lead to a culture evolving on the illuminated side that places significant emphasis on lighting. If this civilization were to use reflective orbital mirrors to shine sunlight onto the dark side of the planet, we could detect their presence with our telescopes. However, this idea remains speculative for now. Thomas Betty of the University of Tucson's Department of Astronomy analyzed future telescopes such as Lavoie or the enormous UV Optical Infrared Surveyor which were expected to identify city lights on Proxima b and other worlds orbiting stars up to 30 parsecs away even more swiftly than the James Webb Space Telescope. His study was released only a few days after the researchers reported their findings. Betty used both Lavoie and HABEX, an acronym for the Habitable Exoplanet Observatory to further understand how these telescopes may identify city lights on these exoplanets. In 2035, when the probes were expected to catalog and photograph exoplanets directly, neither Lavoine or HABX had yet begun their missions to explore the cosmos in several different star systems. Betty utilized virtual observatories, such as Lavoie and HABX, to analyze known and potential Earth-like planets orbiting G through K and M-class stars. His analysis involved determining the distance between cities on the planet's surface, as well as the percentage of urban is a tie-in coverage. By using a model that mimics the artificial illumination produced by high-pressure sodium street lights, which emit a unique infrared spectrum, Betty was able to predict that the night side of a planet would appear brighter if there was a greater concentration of urban azotion. This effect is caused by the reflection of street lights off concrete surfaces. A clearer understanding of an ancient civilization could be achieved if the urban azotion rate was higher, say 100%. However, what would happen if urban azotion covered the entire planet? This scenario is an ecumenopolis where a single metropolis covers the entire planet. It may seem like a concept straight out of science fiction, 
but with future technology advancements, a civilization could potentially create such a world. The question remains whether future observatories will be able to detect it once located. However, the focus currently is on finding Proxima b as research suggests that urban worlds are more likely to orbit red dwarf stars at close distances. This discovery will make it easier for future telescopes to locate an ecumenopolis-like city on Proxima b or a similar planet. This is because the research indicates that red dwarf stars in close proximity provide a higher likelihood of such worlds existing.